Is your computer desktop an absolute nightmare? Does it look like this? If it does, fear not. I'm here to help. I'm going to show you a few quick and easy tips on how to get a little more organized with your desktop so you can actually find the things that you're looking for. So the simplest way to clean up your desktop is to get rid of programs and files that you don't use anymore. So what you want to do is you want to go into your list of installed programs and see if there's anything in there that you don't use anymore. Click on your start button, go to settings, and click on apps. You, in the list of apps you're going to see all the programs that are installed on the computer and what you can do is sort them by age. So if you click here on sort by, choose install date, that puts the newly installed programs at the top of the list. You can scroll all the way down to the very bottom and it will show you the oldest programs that are on the computer. Now what I generally do is I go through here and if it's something that I have installed a long time ago that I don't use anymore, I will just simply select it, click uninstall, and remove that program. And if that program has a shortcut that's on your desktop, once you remove that program, it will remove that icon and then you will have one less thing on your desktop to deal with. So let's say you've gone through and you've removed all the programs that you don't use anymore and you've maybe cleared up a little bit of space, but you still have a lot of stuff left on your desktop. So what you want to do is try to get a little organized. You can do that in two ways. One, you want to put things where they go. So for example, if you have a bunch of pictures on your desktop, you want to take those and move those into the pictures folder and get them off your desktop. So as an example, I have a bunch of pictures here on my desktop and I want to get rid of them. So what I can do is I can simply select them by holding down the control button and clicking on each one to select the files that I want to move. Now once I have those all selected, I just simply let go of the control key and then right click on the collection of pictures and choose cut. Then open my Windows File Explorer, go to the pictures folder on the left side, right click and paste. And what will happen is, as you can see, all of those pictures have now been removed. You can do the same exact thing with documents and PDFs and things like that. For me, anything that I'm not using on a daily basis, I don't want it on my desktop. The whole purpose of my computer is to make me efficient. I can quickly go to something I need without having to search for it. So if I'm not using it every day, I'm putting it where it belongs and getting it out of the way. And if I need it, I just go look for it because I know where it should be. If it's a document, it's in the documents folder. If it's a picture, it's in the pictures folder. So along with removing unneeded programs, that's another way that you can go and clear off some more space. Now, the third option is to organize the things you have on your desktop that are still there. What you want to do first is categorize the things that are on your computer. So for me, I do a lot of audio work, a lot of video work, and I'm also a computer man by trade. So a lot of the stuff I have on my computer is related to audio, video, and computers. So what I want to do is I want to first take all the computer stuff and put it in its own folder. I want just one icon that when I need it, I can open it up and everything I need is inside of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply find an empty spot on my desktop. I'm going to right click, select new folder and as you can see it comes up with a prompt to type a folder name I'm just gonna call it computer stuff so just like that I now have one additional folder on my desktop what I'm going to do now this is what you should do with like items that are on your computer go through and anything that is in this case computer related I would click and drag it and drop it right into that folder just like that all of these programs are related to my computer business. If you have a Meals on Wheels program, anything that's related to Meals on Wheels, put it in that folder. If you're active in your church, anything involved with the church, put it in the church folder. You want to make one icon instead of 50. It's going to clear up your desktop super quick. So as you can see, I'm going to continue here. Anything that is computer related, I'm going to put in that folder. And you can see the icons slowly disappearing off my desktop into that one folder. So as you can see here now, I've managed to take about 30 different icons and create one folder, which I'm gonna put right over here out of the way. And I'm gonna do the same thing here and create a folder for video. So I will right click, select new folder, and I will call it video. And then I'll simply repeat the process for all the items related to video. 
Here's a little trick. You can do the same thing you did before, holding down control and selecting multiple items all at once. So, for example, I'm going to select this while holding down control key. Select this, this, and all of these links that are related to video and drag them all into that one folder. So as you can see, I took all of those icons and created and put it into a video folder. I'm going to do the same thing with audio or in your case, church or Meals on Wheels or whatever it is. So I'm going to take all the items on my desktop that are related to audio and I'm going to drop them all into the audio folder. And then I'm going to put this one folder right up here. As you can see, I've got audio, video, computer stuff. Now if you look at my desktop, it's a lot cleaner and there's not 3,000 items on it anymore. Of course, there'll be some stragglers here, things that you overlooked. But look how much clearer it is now. And that's it. That's all you have to do to clean up your scary desktop and convert it into something usable for you. And again, it doesn't matter what you do, whatever your passion is, whether you have 8,000 trail cam photos of your deer on your property or you're in charge of Meals on Wheels or you're in real estate, whatever it is, create those folders that are specifically geared towards what it is you do and create subfolders to hide that stuff in plain sight. So for example, if I needed to open something related to my computer business, I could open the computer stuff folder and there are all my computer icons. If I need to open a particular program, I just open that folder open the file and there it is. When I'm done, it's all still nice and clean and pretty. I know for a lot of people, tons of icons on your desktop is overwhelming. All you have to do is just think about it the same way you would spring clean your house or clean out your closet. Stacks of this here, stacks of this here, get everything out of the way and all of a sudden everything looks nice and tidy again. That's all you have to do. It's super easy. I hope this video helped you. Hope it gave you a little inspiration to maybe do some spring cleaning on your desktop. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.